Today, Interfor is one of the largest lumber providers in the world. With locations across North America, employing over 3,000 employees, capable of annually turning out 3.2 billion board feet of lumber, a day at Interfor is not just another day in the boardroom. Now, let's take a look inside one of our mills and see how it's done. First, logs are received, weighed, and inspected for quality at a set of inbound scales. They're unloaded by heavy equipment onto the log deck or a wood pile. The sawmill is where the heavy processing begins. Debarked stems are sent to the primary breakdown machine from the log deck. Along the way, optimizers scan the stem and pass the decision on to the primary breakdown machine. This decision is used to reduce the stem to a cant, or a stem with two or four square sides. Then, the cant passes through additional high-speed milling and breakdown processes to produce a continuous outflow of lumber. Each piece of lumber undergoes further intermediate processing, which includes edging, trimming, and sorting. Once completed, the lumber is just a few steps away from being ready for delivery. Byproducts such as bark, sawdust, chips, and wood waste created during the primary and intermediate processing steps are collected and either sold to customers or used internally as fuel in the lumber drying process. Final steps in the process of making lumber include drying, planing, and packaging. Freshly sawn green lumber has high moisture content and therefore needs to be dried so it's ready for customer use. Planing is the process that smooths the outer surface of a dried board, making it a uniform width and thickness. Lumber exiting the planer mill is a fully dressed product with smooth, finished edges. Various grades and quality of lumber are produced to accommodate customer specifications. Each board is inspected and labeled with a unique grade stamp. Finished lumber of the same length, width, and grade is grouped, stacked, and prepared for shipment. Packaged lumber is stored in lumber sheds until ultimately it's placed on a truck or a rail car to be shipped to customers locally, regionally, and all around the world. I've told individuals in the past, I mean, you won't find a better job anywhere else around here to come work, a better group of people, a better group of management to work for. And like I said, it's, it's challenging, it's something to do, it's different from the norm, it's exciting sometimes. Sometimes it can be stressful, any job can. But it's rewarding a lot of times when you get to see your end product when you go out there and look on the yard and you can say to yourself, I did that. You know, I put my hands on that. I made that happen. And you know, it's rewarding. I love it.